Let us now look at how to construct the locus of points which are equidistant from A and B. So this type of question means how to bisect line AB. So in an exam, you'll be told, can you construct the locus of points which are equidistant from A and B or which are equidistant from point C and D? So the thing that you have to know, they're just telling you to bisect that line. And bisecting the line, we said, the first thing that you're going to do, you're going to get your compass and you're going to measure more than half of the line. After you measure more than half of your line, you're going to put your compass on point A. Then we're going to construct an arc above line AB and another arc below line AB. Then after you do that, without changing the radius, you're going to put your compass on point B and you're going to draw an arc above line AB to cut the first arc that you had drawn using your point A. Then you're going to do the same. You're going to draw an arc below line AB using point B so that it can cut uh, the first uh, arc. Then after you do that, you're going to draw a line that passes through the two arcs. That means that you have drawn a locus of points which are equidistant from A and B or you have bisected that line so let us uh, get our compass and we measure more than half of line a b so if we get our compass and starting at point a we're going to measure more than half of line a b so if we want we can measure this line as you can see it's giving a uh, 13.2 so more than half we can get us uh, we can get or 8.3 it doesn't matter you can get 8.5 so as you can see we have uh, more than half of line a b there so we're going to construct an arc above line a b and we're going to construct another arc below line a b so we're going to have this arc above line a b and we're going to construct another arc below line a b After we do that, without changing the radius, we're going to put our compass at starting point B there. Then we're going to draw an arc above line AB. And we're going to draw another arc below line AB. So we have done that. After we do that, we have to get our meter rule and we're going to draw a line that passes through these two arcs. So we're going to put our ruler like that. Then we'll draw our line. After we draw a line that passes through these two arcs, that means that we have drawn a locus of points which are equidistant from A and B or we have bisected line a b so that's how you can solve uh, that problem why you have questions please ask in the group or put them in the comment section